We are back with another day of Tales of Vesperia. We've got skip I've heard stories about monsters living outside the barrier, but it's really true. Yeah. Now I understand why everyone says the world outside the barrier is so dangerous. It's pretty easy to forget the monsters are even out here when you live on the inside. You better not let our guard down. Right. <laughs> okay, I don't think I've fought this wolf thing before. Ooh, is it both of them? Nice! This is exact- this is perfect! Well, it's been- <laughs> Oh no! Oh yeah, free move. Sorry, I'm trying to remember how to play- Oh god! Oh, there we go. Doggo's going in. Oh, she's got to heal him. Oh, this is embarrassing. Why is she not healing him? I should have cancelled his... You want revenge? Bro. Maybe I do make her a spam healer. Oh, I don't know yet. Magic, do you, Yuri? It's not that I don't. I can't. That's one talent I don't have. But anyone with Blastia should be able to use magic if they just learn the theory, right? I told you, I don't have the knack for learning magical theory. So you're bad at studying. That's one way to put it. <laughs> Azur. Uh, I think I have fought that thing. You know what, just to be safe. Try and get a double. No! Oh, Sorry if I oh nice. Bro, this game's hard. Good heals. It's a very unique button system that I've got to get used to. No, cancel. Did I cancel it? Do I jump these? Can I... I'm trying to use Cerberus Strike in the air, but... I was, <laughs> I was trying to use it in the air, but I couldn't figure it out. That was a good fight, man. Ton of enemies. We grinding. The world is so big. What makes you say that all of a sudden? I thought the capital was big, but the world outside is so much bigger. How much farther beyond the horizon does that clear sky stretch? I know. Compared to the lower quarter, it's huge. I like her voice actress. Um, let's have a little look. See, can I look at the world map? Oh, I might as well save it. Um. We definitely got a world map. What did I just do? Huh. Select. Oh, there we go. What the? Oh. Huh. Interesting. All right, new city. Diadon Hall. Diadon Hall. Diagon Alley! Do you think those knights followed you here? I wonder. 
Well, let's do our best not to stand out. Okay, and I want to catch up with Flynn as soon as I can. All right, let's see if we can just pass through the hole. Hmm. This music. Where's she off to now? Welcome. I've got some nice gear in stock today. This blade was forged by none other than Assam the Blade Master. It even comes equipped with weapon skills. Ooh. No traveler should be without them. Feel free to give it a try. Huh? What do you mean? The special techniques contained in weapons. These techniques were originally passed down from master to pupil, but the Blade Master Assam used a special process to seal them within the weapons themselves. Bodhi Blastia can acquire techniques from weapons imbued with this power. Oh, it's just like in uh, Tales of Bazaria, you use the weapon and you get the. Okay. With continued use, weapon arts can eventually be learned by oh, the that's, person using I the weapon. Oh, I completely forgot that mechanic. I loved it. My, this young lady knows her stuff. That about sums it up. I read in a book that the Critia gave this knowledge to humans long ago. Huh. And the I Critia the elves. Last year only let you use strike and magic arts. In order to find the fighting style that meets your needs, it's best to think carefully about weapon skills when choosing your weapon. I'm just going to choose the biggest one, I'll be honest with you, sir. There are even weapons without weapon skills that focus instead on raw attack power. Interesting. It all depends on your preference. If weapons you equip have weapon skills sealed inside them, those weapon skills will be stored inside your Bodhi Blastia when you equip the weapons. Okay. If you have a weapon equipped, you can use the weapon skills sealed inside whenever you want. Hmm. However, if you unequip that weapon, you'll have to set the weapon skills to be able to use them. Okay. Each weapon skill belongs to one of four different categories. Cool. Okay. When you set a few different skills in a weapon, depending on what category they are, <laughs> a particular glyph will appear on the core of your Bodhi Blastia. Right, I see it, that fire sign. So, if you had a bunch of weapon skills for attacking, you'd see a glyph called Fleck. Right. And it says increases physical attack. That glyph lets you know the strength of your physical attacks has gone up. So you want to stay in one weapon type, I guess? So Yuri, for example, that sword. So that I get a passive? Try all of the combinations you can think of to see what they do. <laughs> <coughs> or I wonder if you have sword and heart and it does a different one. I'm afraid the sun would set long before I could explain them all to you. Hey, you're, you're good, you bro. all that? Yeah, what well, a great way of uh, doing a tutorial. You should be able to read all about it in that young lady's book. I can't imagine business is all that great in a place like this. Don't get me wrong. I'm not here because I want to be. There are monsters on the far side of the hold, so I'm stuck. Monsters, huh? Did you hear that? Hmm. And she's not listening. <laughs> huh? Did you say something? No. I said I'm gonna go get some information, so you wait right there. Oh, I'll come too. That's all right. Go ahead and take it. It's pretty old and it has some pages missing, but it's yours if you like. That's nice. Thank you very much. She's Is a that bookworm. Book good? It's fascinating. You can read it as soon as I finish. I don't read. Collection of notes and all sorts of battle related information. Oh, okay. Well, we're never gonna read that ever. And then we're gonna I'm gonna get frustrated and ask questions that will be in that book. And uh yeah, I don't want anyone to say anything. Can I pet the dog? Bad game. My rest time to set off. What's not I can go alone? I have to wait for everyone else. Okay, so it's crazy to travel in small groups. I can't wait to get to Hello. Hmm. Uh, I do want to speak to that merchant though. Nice. 
is. After all of that, he doesn't even have a weapon for me to buy. Oh, oh, sorry, buddy. Uh, it should already be on all. I don't like that it's not on all. Simtar, a shoddy sword with a crescent blade. The grip is designed to look like a lamp. Oh, that's pretty cool. A wand. Can we compare? Dagger once owned by ninja skilled with wind arts. The unique tip makes a slashing sound like the wind. Huh. Oh, oh, I see the stats. Oh, okay, plus 23 damage. Oh, I want this. Press X and left the back. Oh my god, these buttons are gonna kill me, guys. Oh. Press X and down to increase magic damage taken. Able to use items on an ally. Oh! Also, oh, you can't do that. Interesting. All right. Well, how much money do I have? I have four thousand gold. I should be buying all of these. Plus six and plus eleven. I should be buying these. And I'm not mad at buying some apple gels. Let's get 10. Now, did that all stack? It did. So if I click... Did I buy everything? I believe so. All right. Now, let's have a look at selling. Oh, those are good. Um, I'm probably just going to give this to Yuri. <clears throat> Do I want to sell old gear or is this... Look at Backstep, it's got a bar next to it. Oh, you get that bar full, you learn it. Yep, yeah. okay. Great. We're learning, ladies and gents. I did put the hard mail on, right? Yeah. Okay, how do I switch character? RT? Love it. Oh, she can use... Interesting. Uh, we're definitely making her a wand user, though. So that picture down there, I'm assuming only she can use it. I was going to give it to the puppers. Okay. Yep. And there's his new weapon. So he... Okay, cool. I love how everyone's got different stuff. All right. Oh, I love JRPGs. Thank you so much. Oh, new sword. Look at that. Cool. Hey. Head for hello. Okay, so the game's telling us hello is nearby. This is the storage. You prefer if I didn't go in? No! <sighs> oh. Hey guys, just gonna rob you all. Vision to the guards. Love the interior. A lot of attention to detail here. Love that kind of stuff. They could have just made this room really boring and empty. I like games that do that. Ooh. Wait, am I onto something? I am. I am. Bro, reward me for exploring. Yes. And this is the way I'm meant to go. What is this? Do, 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 
<laughs> Ooh, we pull something on there. Hey, man. No one can see me when I, you know, maybe you'll find out later. What? Okay. Weirdo. Ooh, secret door. Oh, I guess that's just a, a what's it called sign. Who are you? Hey, hold on. Hello. Bro. Um, I beg your pardon, but what are you looking at? Humanity at work. <laughs> a tenacious attachment to this life. Huh? <laughs> Why? Why must humans live the lives they do? They fight for a share of monopolized technology and hurt even those closest to them. True. Hmm? Are you talking about Blastia? <sighs> I can't speak for anyone else, but it doesn't seem to me like there's any reason why we get dumped into the world. But once you're here, you just do what you can to give this life everything you've got. Perhaps there is truth in what you say. Hey! This VA sounds so familiar. He's gone. What was that all about? Got me. They say the heat can make people go a little crazy. Is it hot? <laughs> I love her obliviousness. Oh wow, that was all optional. Man. Even cutscenes for exploring, you love to see it. Okay, we're exploring everything in this game. Dim, dim. Just taking our time with it, you know? I like to take my time at the beginning of games. It's how long can the game make you last doing this, what I'm doing right now. I think that makes sense. Some games are very top heavy. The earlier the game, that they put everything good at the beginning of the game and not in the middle and end. But the reason I love JRPGs is because they'll introduce something like 50 hours into the game. It keeps it so fresh. I believe. No. Another merchant? I am reading, by the way, just. Okay. Hey. Hey. Okay, I'm gonna be a peep and Tom. Okay, so everyone's talking about hello. Do I want to rest? Oh god. Actually, probably we probably should. Hundred gold. That's a rip off. Hey! Oh, I hope I make a hundred friends. What? Are those all monsters? Shut the gate now! Damn it! What are they doing here this time of the year? The monsters will fall back if we stop the main charge. Remember your training! Sick! Oh no! Okay, they're all in! Close it up! Hold the gate! There's still more! Oh, 
Well, natural selection. That kid's dead. Sorry. We just left the capital and things are already getting crazy. That's it. I'm cursed. I know it. <laughs> Good boy. Estelle, you wait over. Hey! Help the girl! Whatever you say. P please, I can't get up. Ow! The monsters! The monsters! Everything's gonna be okay. Brother, it's just a sprained ankle, man. Walk it off. Oh. No, the teddy! I knew it. Hey, let go of me. You wait here. Am I doing this for a so much for keeping a low profile? Yuri. No. Oh God, I'm cool. Nearly died because of a bloody doll. How can I ever thank you? Oh, it's nothing, really. I'm not sure what I would have done if you hadn't cured me. Thanks. Ha! <laughs> I'm just thankful that everyone's safe. Whoa. All worn out, huh? It really is dangerous beyond the barriers with so many ferocious monsters around. This place could definitely use a barrier against a pack that big. Couldn't they install a barrier blastia here? No. Barriers are a precious resource. Yeah, and they only give it to the rich cities, I guess. You're right. And with the current technology, we can't make any more. If only we could recover the secrets of the ancient Garayo civilization. They created the blastia. Even if that were to happen, I can't see the Empire using the knowledge for the common good. Mm-hmm. You two there. I'd like to have a word with you. Are you mad because I did your job better than you? So why don't you let us through? I'll beat those monsters to a pulp with these fists of mine! How many times do I have to say it? These monsters are tougher than you think! Okay, these guys look cool. You dare to doubt the power of the monster hunters? I want that sword. Stop! Stay out of this! You knights cheated us out of a <laughs> What did he achieve? There, and now we're gonna work off some steam! Hey, hold it! It's always the same with these guild idiots. Bro, look at her weapon. Great, we'll never get through as long as this keeps up. But Flynn is headed to Halor and we're so close. Well, getting caught by the knights wouldn't be too fun. Let's find another way through. Oh, okay, now we probably go where I was. We made quite a scene, didn't we? I was so worried once those knights noticed us. I told you we couldn't stand out. You were the one who just jumped. I can't just look away when monsters are attacking someone right in front of me, right? <laughs> What's so funny? I'm sorry. That sounded just like the way Flynn described you, that's all. He often said that you could never turn a blind eye when someone near you was suffering. Well, next time you see him, you tell him that I said he's the same way. <laughs> I'll do that. Hmm. Looking forward to meeting this fling guy. Hey, nerd. Blasted monsters. I can't believe they could stop us. Hmm. Hey, kid. We're going to back in the wagon and go. 
Proof. <laughs> I wonder if this is all open now. That guy's not there at the bottom. Will you run down? Do 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 do. Or is this long ass run just for nothing? Yeah. My private VIP is here. I haven't climbed back down. Been able to see the Lord of the Plains from here. It's just amazing. Interesting. Do 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 do. All right, no harm in checking. Maybe the cabin area? Storeroom? Oh, didn't even see that. Time flies in this game, which is a great thing when you're fasting. <laughs> All right, let's check down here. Yeah. You there. How about coming to work for me? You'll be paid, of course. <laughs> Look at his face. Watch your manners around the president. Well, what do you say? So it's not bad manners to try and buy someone without even introducing yourself? Uh, bro? I was just about to say the same thing, man. Watch your mouth. Shut the hell up, bro. You're just as charming as I expected. I'm Kaufman of the Merchants Guild Fortunes Market. We handle everything from trade to distribution. Guilds, huh? That's not good. Are they gonna break through? You see, I'm in quite a tight spot, and it's all thanks to these tremors. I'd rather not know, but was that the work of a monster? Yes, the Lord of the Plains. Lord of the Plains? Lord of the Flame. He's the leader of that pack of monsters. Oh, the blue one we saw. The leader? Man, there's some amazing things out there. Do you know if there's another way we can cross the plains? We're in a hurry. <sighs> I'm afraid you'll just have to wait for the Lord of the Plains to leave. Okay. Huh. I guess there's no point getting worked up over it. But I can't afford to just sit and wait. I'm gonna get a second opinion. <laughs> I know, Repeat, I know. You're with a guild that does product distribution, but you don't know any other routes? Oh, she knows. I could hire you and just charge through once the leader moves on, but uh, you don't seem interested. If it's bodyguards you want, why not hire the knights? Are you forgetting that we guild members have thrown away our rights as Imperial citizens? Once you leave the Empire behind, you can't expect them to help you a whole lot. So naturally, the Imperial Knights would never deign to escort the likes of us. Wow, you really stick to your principles. Without that level of determination, one could never hope to run a guild. Well, maybe you could use your determination to do something about that Lord of the Plains. Go to the Koi Woods that lie to the west of here. If you pass through the forest, you'll come out on the far side of the plains. But the fact that you guys aren't going that way... Must mean we have some surprise to look forward to. I like a boy with quick wits, but I like one that doesn't waste a potential investment even better. Uh -huh, okay. Thanks. I owe you one. Maybe I'll talk to you about that job if we meet again. I like the writing, the conversations. They've got, you know, a sense of being natural to them, which is always good. 
Estelle. I... I'm not waiting around for the monsters to leave or anything. I'm just resting a little. Oh, I see. Well then, I guess I'll just have to take the other way around by myself. What? H how did you... Hey, wait for me! <laughs> Second opinion, she said. That woman who gave us directions, she said she was in a guild, right? That was Miss Kaufman of Fortune's Market. Man, giving up their rights as Imperial citizens and just living free. You Yuri, like the idea are you of that? interested in the guilds? Interested? Nah, I just never had much contact with them. Back in the capital, there weren't any gritty guild types who'd refuse the knight's protection. We may meet lots of people in guilds before we're done with our trip. I hope they're a little less aggressive than that woman was. <laughs> I thought she was great. I am interested. So the woods is west of here. Does that mean I, I leave? And there's going to be like a woods has popped up now? Have a little look-see. 